Hi, this is a tour of my 2001 Lexus LS430 and it's in a beautiful, very rare colour, um, Mystic Sea Opalescent. It changes from sort of this really nice classy grey to a sort of light sea green at night. It's really, really beautiful paint. It's very rare. You hardly ever see any Lexus uh, in this colour. So um, the wheels will be refurbished, I'll show you the rest of the exterior later, but I'll do the interior for first. Okay, so if you don't know the Lexus LS430, it's got the um, keyless entry and lock off here, and um, a really, really beautiful leather interior on my car. I'll just do this seat. So, it's got the original thick, luxurious um, Lexus mats and underneath it's absolutely clean. You can see even under here is very clean. I always keep my cars in this condition. Um, that's just how I like to look after them. You can see the door card is in superb condition. And sort of underneath the, the door as well. No rust at all of course. So it's got all the controls for upper... Oh, Let's just focus there. Upper and lower lumbar support, front and back. Obviously, it's lift that up for the headrest, um, and then obviously tilt forward and back. Obviously, forward and back. These all work by the way, it's to show you, and that's for the seat cushion moving forward, which is fantastic. It's so you can see that there. Really, really nice feature. The leather is in superb condition, you can see there's no cracks whatsoever. It's in beautiful condition. Um, so uh, let's take you the back seats as well. In fact, let's just show you all the carpets there. So, again, original Lexus mats, really luxurious. And um, again, carpets in superb condition. It's just a couple of little bits. I always keep my cars in this condition because I'm fanatical about keeping them clean so uh, you can see on the back of the chair back of the seat there's no rips at all and this elastic is still absolutely tight on it again same on the door and underneath the door just beautiful condition i love this paint work as you can you might be able to tell in this light you can sort of see here it's a slightly different color and that's the that's all it changes zero rips or anything these are in just almost brand new condition the back seats as is the the armrest just everything's in tip-top condition on this car let's take it on the other side now. oh this this has got lines as well on both the rear doors so it's just a matter of Sliding them back into place. Fantastic feature. The only issue really with this car is this misting a really regular annoying issue on these because these windows are double glazed, they get this misting inside. These are only £90 to replace. Um, there's a guy on uh, eBay that only sells Lexus LS430 and LS400. Oops, and they are really, really easy to fit as well. But um, again, the door card is in superb condition. Just this leather is just beautiful, uh, thick leather. And again, underneath the doors, superb condition. And this side, the seat, just zero issues. It's like like new almost. The the carpet is as as new condition almost and again underneath sorry this is the mat that's the carpet <laughs> um again zero issues with any el elasticity on there these uh front headrests are uh they're they go up and down electrically electrically which i'll show you in a moment again original lexus mat all in perfect condition Tiny thing there. Let's try and get them out there. There you go. Again, it's just a 
tiny stone or something. Yeah, what that? So, yeah, um, as you can see, this seat as well, on like new, just fantastic. All these work as well, so you've got a headrest up and down. You can do the uh, obviously, it's got the it's a lumbus part, I can't show you that on there. Mm. Obviously, the tilt and then the back. It's really, really good. And again, the dark has just nothing wrong with it whatsoever. This car is just absolutely beautiful. These actually are designed to hold a bottle of wine. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. <laughs> Again, speaker and door carpet in beautiful condition. And no rust or anything in here, just gorgeous. This wood, if you don't know, is, is real. It's made by Yamaha, and um, they're the same company that does the um, musical instruments. Um, just beautiful condition. I think that's Californian walnut, I believe. So let's go and show you some of the features now. Oh, the boot. The boot is electrical opening. It's here. So we just and it's done. Okay, so twin gas strips on the boot. There's nothing wrong with those whatsoever. Um, so I've got the original Lexus. Um, that's sort of the the net that comes with the car. And we can once you've once you've put clipped onto these, they uh, it, you can put your shopping and stuff underneath. So I'll just take that away for a second. So you can see the condition of the boot is just excellent. Very, very clean. That's where your uh, air purifier is. That's all. That's all absolutely fine. I checked that. And um, spare tyre is in very good condition. It's an Avon, and you can see the. The amount of tread left on that is excellent. It's got the full tool kit, and I'll show you the rest of that in a second actually. So, the tool kit, if you don't know what Max is, is here. It's a really, really neat. Let's put this in the shadow so I can show you properly. It has the full tool kit, and even if you can turn it on one hand, it's got the original little pen. I just put some more tor uh, batteries in it for the torch, sorry. And there you go still works you can see it's red on one side like a safety thing and then white at the end really cool so yeah it's got the full full tool kit as well and you've still got you know nets to put some bobs in on, on that side as well so the tool kit just slides off in here the boot um, The boot just uh, has this electronic system on it, where it just clicks back into place, watch. There you go, I don't know if you could hear that, but it automatically pulls the boot back into place. The only issue on the boot is this, where the paint sort of peeled away, which you get on Lexuses, I don't know why, but any piece of plastic trim, the paint seems to come away easily, which is very annoying, but that's the only real issue there. So. Go ahead and show you under the bonnet now. Oh. This is a gas strip bonnet again and zero issues with the gas strips in. Engine bay isn't immaculate, as you can see. Really very nice. Water level exactly where it should be it actually rises when you start the engine, which we'll do in a second. And I'm um, just to show you quickly, I have put brand new board and back brake discs and pads on here. You can see those, oh, there's sort of the edge of it, can't really see properly, but um, I've got photographs of those anyway, which I'll put in the article. All right, so let's go ahead and start the car. You can see the steering wheel moves up and down on its own. There you go. And the wing mirrors. Oops, let's just 
Good one. There you go. So, this is a 4.3 litre V8 engine. Uh, I think probably one of the best V8s produced ever. Fantastic. It tears away beautifully. Zero knocks, ticks. Nothing. Truly outstanding engine in very good condition. I've just done an oil and filter change and I've only probably put a few hundred miles on at the most since then. Um, Batteries here as well. And you can see the whole car is in excellent condition. Um, nothing needs to go into it. Zero smoke obviously from all the exhaust. Not expected to and for the excess. The doors as well have um, a soft shut feature, all of them. So you just click it to here. There you go. Clicks. Again, same with here. Amazing, they all do that. So, let's take you through the features in the front. Okay, everything works on this, apart from the t telescoping steering, which doesn't work. It goes up and down fine, as you can see, but it just doesn't telescope in and out, a very common thing. You can replace that for uh, £125 but haven't even checked the fuse so it could be that okay so satellite navigation works perfectly as you can see it's going to be your destination um, the climate the, the air conditioning is perfect on it and as you can see not many people know this but the car will actually direct the air to where it needs to be in the car on the front two vents and they are absolutely silent. So all of that works. Um, you've got rear air conditioning as well for the passengers. All you do is press that. You'll be able to hear it in a second. There you go. So they get beautiful cold or warm air. You've just the temperature off here. So you can do it individually. Well, you can do it. Just press dual in the middle there, and then yep. So you know, everything works perfectly. Hot air coming out there immediately because it's um, been very cold. This is uh, very warm this summer. This air conditioning has been excellent. So of course everything works on here. And um, what else is there? Obviously, you've got your audio as well. You've got um. Uh, FM tape, who uses that for Sony more, but it's there if you need it. And it's got a disc as well, so if we go back over to oh, audio, let's go back over to discs, and it's got a six disc changer under here. Everything works. Um, you can actually there you go, avoid that. And then to load it, you just press this button. And um, there we go. That's it, it's loaded. So, um, this is obviously an automatic, and um, you can shift to four, three, two, and low. And obviously, that comes up on the dash as well here. So, all of these lights work. Um, when you put it into reverse the uh, rear blind, I haven't showed you that, but that actually drops as well. So these these all work as well. Um, so you've got a, a power and sport mode, snow mode sorry, for um, the transmission. So there you go. Um, it's got, uh, obviously it's got air suspension and this works as well. So you can see it comes up there, and you can maybe hear, if you just listen. 
like a grumbling sound that's actually the um, the, the pump pumping it up so it does work you've got the rear blind so you can do that from the front or the back very cool um, you've got windscreen headlight washers and you've got um, stability control on and off and you can actually um, put the rear seats if the passengers have messed about with them you can just press that and it it'll um, fold them back into where they should be and it's obviously got sport suspension as well and again you can see that on here not very good because of the light this has actually got uh, cooled and heated front seats and they both work all you do is pop them out you can actually hear that Yeah, that's all you do. And um, they've got obviously heated as well. So they are they all work absolutely perfectly. Actually, there's a cigarette lighter here, or we can make up as a power outlet. See if that's rubbish or if you smoke, which I hope you don't do in this car. <laughs> but it's up to you. Um, then you've obviously got this a little drawer for storing things. You can actually fit an iPhone 6 in there, um, 6S, so yeah, that works fine. And um, under here you have sort of a separate tray so we can, this, you can shift it back. You've got a, another power outlet down here, it's all very clean and tidy in there. This slides back automatically, but you can actually, there you go, if you pull one of the handles. These are from where the original telephone kit was installed, unfortunately, you can't get rid of those, but um, you can still see this on top. It's got two glove boxes on this car, an upper one and a lower one. We've got just a few keys, etc. in there, a few CDs. And again, this door card has the wine bottle folder. Now all of these work, these buttons as well on the steering wheel, so you can see the, the display here. My, I average 19 to 20 miles per gallon, the car's been sat here, so the miles per gallon has dropped. Um, so yeah, um, and holding display 2 just turns the temperature, oh, sorry, temperature on and off. Um, you've also got um, your volume controls for the uh, stereo, and you can do your different, um, different uh, sort of modes on there. And uh, obviously, as well, you can cycle through your track off the steering wheel on here. And you can switch to different modes, like FM, AM, etc. on there. And it's got cruise control as well, which, which works perfectly. That's all right, just comes up there. There you go, cruise set. Uh, mirrors, uh, automatic folding, you can have it all also, you can do it manually. There you go. And you can roll it adjustable and heated, they all work. But I can show, show you off here. Um, so you've got rear heated windscreen and mirror, and then your front blower as well on there. Um, yeah, so everything works. Now let's, let's go to the back. Oh, it's got a um, sunroof as well, which all works. It's just works perfectly. Um, it's a one, one touch system. You can see this roof line is just in perfect condition as well, no marks at all on it. There's the uh, actually, you've got any mirrors here, which light up, and um, I've actually got this just to that's my Borg and Beck brakes that I've, I've fitted. It tells you what mileage I fitted them up. I just like to keep them because you've got to run them in for about 400 miles, I just like to keep it up there. Obviously, all the, the lights work and everything. It's got the glasses holder is here as well. And again, something that not many people know actually. These will actually extend, which is really cool. Just a little bit of something there. It's gone. Um, so you can have that over the front, or you can have that over here. And another ha re really handy feature is this little thing here, <laughs> like a mini sunblind. So if you've got that down, 
can have that down as well. And you can actually adjust that just to block the sun out. Very, very cool feature. Let's go through this thing. Which is, to be honest, it's the place you want to be. So, again, you can see all the, I showed you earlier, but all the seats from beautiful condition. This is the, the, um, armrest with many buttons on the controls and there's even more under here so let's go through these it's got heated rear seats on here they both work and they come on very quickly you can actually drop the rear blind off here as well so let's just show you i love that feature it's got the coat hangers up here individual sort of reading reading lights and then I'll go through what oh, sorry, I'll go through the, what these buttons do. So basically you can control everything off here which relates to the front. So you can see I've just turned the power off from here um, for the audio. So all you do is click that and then you can cycle through your modes. So you've got FM and then you've got the, the CD disc changer if you've got, you've got a tape in as that. Long wave, medium wave, FM. And you can actually change channels as well off there. Really cool features, um, and probably oh, we'll actually show you this first. So you, you can adjust your temperature up in the rear, up and down. This all works perfectly, um, and you can have the air conditioning on as well. It takes a second to come on. There you go. Uh, vents up there, vents on the floor, and vents here. It's really, really uh, awesome way, and it's um, it's got a purifier as well, so the air smells fresher. I'll put that on low. You can have it on AC low as well, or you can just have it without the air conditioning on. Like so you can adjust the temperature to whatever you want, and um, so you can have it without the AC if you don't particularly like that. You can turn that off altogether as well. So, uh, another feature which is really cool are the massage seats. <laughs> you can adjust sort of the, it sounds almost like a tone, but it works so well. You've got this, I don't know if you'll see with my hand vibrating now, but uh, it vibrates the back of the seat up to about here and just does all. all the, your back and um, along with the heat seats that's just built so you can adjust it so it gives you a more sort of intense one just turn them there this side works as well i'm sat against it so it's not quite loud another awesome feature is this um say if you sat in the back you can adjust the passenger seat forward off this little button here or you can ask the driver to if you've been chauffeured you can then um, lift your headrest up and down and you can shift your seat forwards like just hold these two seats slide forward as you can see and um, I'll just jump up and show you my side as well so You can see very, very relaxed and reclined position. Like the headrest goes up and down this side, fine too. And just even higher. So you can get the ultimate and, and the actually pull forwards, as you can see, and the recline as well. And um, so, yeah, every, every single thing works in the back. Um, oh, and it's also got a drinks cooler in here. So you can fit cans in there, sort of cold cans, um, Schweppes, whatever you drink. And to actually use it, not many people know how to use these, but you just pull that there, and that opens a little vent in there, and it uses the air conditioning to cool it. There you go, and that all works as well, obviously. As I said earlier, you can 
if you just press this button here, you can just reset the chairs entirely. Very cool. You can actually, it's got memory settings on, on the back seats as well. So you can set your memory to whatever, you, whatever position you want. So I think I showed you a thing, I'll just give the car a coin grab. It's absolutely superb condition, it's just a beautiful car. And um, you barely, the, the uh, handbrake is here, foot brake, you barely need to click this on because I've just literally replaced the front disc, rear discs and pads, so it's literally a couple of clicks. Go two clicks and it's on tight. Um, apart from that, that's, I think uh, I've shown you everything, guys. If you've got any questions at all, just um, ask me. But um, the, the only uh, two things, as I said, that aren't working is this steering in and out which you can actually get replaced off that the guy that supplies the glass on ebay he can supply a new unit to or you could just perhaps do the fuse uh, and the rear glass um is misted slightly but it doesn't affect the way the car drives or anything you can see that it's just one touch windows and the same for the front oh and a very cool feature which again uh, a lot of people miss is actually this is for adjusting your seatbelt up and down. Yep, and the front <laughs> passenger side does that as well. Very, very cool. So um, these all work. So I've got it in position two at the minute. There you go. Just press position three and it's taking it all back. And um, I can it actually just the. So if I do that again. And as you see it adjusts when you press these it adjusts both the wing mirrors and the steering wheel as well so it's got to take the seat back there you go it does everything uh, even my headrest behind me is electronic in fact i can show you that just briefly so yeah there you go again you've got two sets of there you, go, you can just see that two sets of um, lumbar support and you've got to lift the whole thing there and if you want to reset the entire seat back again you just press this there you go. so that's everything uh, ask me any questions you want There's, uh, I've got all the history with the car um, or the majority of it's all stamped and there's been two independent stamps with that as well um, and I've just done the oil and oil filter as well as all the brakes so it's completely ready to go um, there's nothing needs doing mechanically to it at all um, so thanks very much for watching